Hey guys, John here. In this video, we're gonna be installing a new exhaust onto my 2022 Toyota Tundra from AFE. All right, so opening up the box here, got our clamps right here, it looks like. Packaged pretty well. So the tip is actually welded on, which is very nice. Like to hear how these hangers actually have like little uh, nubs on them to stop because the carbon exhaust over here just like kind of slides right on. So that is a nice touch. Let's go ahead and get this all unboxed and I want to compare it to the stock exhaust. And here's a look at the muffler and it was wrapped up pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. There's our peek inside. Pretty straight, straight through shot, but we got a bit of a muffler hopefully not drone. So here's the AFE power muffler compared to the stock exhaust. And then you also on the stock one have that resonator too. And then on the AFEs, it's just nothing but pipe over here. And then just for some fun comparison, you can see the difference of the stock exhaust, the AFE, and then the carbon. So the carbon obviously was a bit loud, a bit aggressive, but that's what you buy it for. This one hopefully will have a good middle ground between super, super quiet, a decent sound, but not as aggressive. And before you go ahead and put everything onto the Tundra, just kind of do a dry fit of everything first, right next to the truck. It makes installation a lot easier knowing where every single one of the parts go. Uh, I also made sure that I have the proper clamps in the right spots too. I know that those are gonna be three inch clamps back there, but just making sure that everything goes in the right way that it should line it up to make installation a whole heck of a lot more easier. And also with the kit, it's gonna come with two extensions, one one for a longer bed crew max too. So just make sure you pick the right one when installing it in your truck. So for reference right here, mine is a crew max five and a half foot bed. So I do not need any of the extension pipes, the short one or the long one. All right, we have it all installed. Obviously it's not gonna hang down like that because we left all the clamps underneath pretty loose to maneuver the exhaust around. And then go ahead and tighten everything down to 40 to 45 foot pounds. And then go ahead and use some isopropyl alcohol wipe down all the stainless steel that way your fingerprints don't get burned into it when you start the truck up all right got it fully installed these tips definitely hang out just a little bit but i was able to tuck them up nice and tight to the body line of the truck again let's go ahead and get a first start <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning. We're gonna go ahead and do a cold start. It's actually like 60 degrees out, so cold for Florida, but we'll get a cold start on it. All right, at a red light, it's about to turn green. We'll do a heavy acceleration. It's a very tame exhaust. That was up to 50 miles an hour. Hear it a little bit at 2000, shift down, goes away. So I've been driving on this road for a bit now and I don't hear, it's a super windy day by the way, uh, but I don't hear any drone from this exhaust. It is now down to 1500 RPM, nothing. All I hear is that piece of crap window over there freaking rattling but I don't hear any drone with this exhaust. It's like, it's honestly a super good balance between stock and the carbon. Like when you do wide open throttle, like, I mean, I can, <laughs> I can hear it a little bit, but it's not over the top. Or if you do light acceleration, cause I've been driving this around for a little bit. When you do a light acceleration too, if, if you like, if you floor into it, you hear it. But if you just do light acceleration, it's it's honestly barely noticeable, which is nice. But the power increase with this is noticeable. So not a whole lot, but it is noticeable. So with both their exhausts, they have two exhausts on their site. You have one that is a 409 stainless steel, and then this one on this truck, which is their 304 series stainless steel. It's just a better stainless steel. It's not, it's not gonna corrode as much as the 409 one would, and it's a little bit thicker of a stainless steel too. So this one is nice. Both of them though, regardless, 
give you 12 more horsepower per their dyno and 18 more foot-pounds of torque, which is nice. And obviously, if you pair that with other items from them, you're looking to get a bit more out of your truck, which is nice just bolt-on features for a twin-turbo motor. All right, guys, here is some light acceleration just going through a uh, little commercial area, so. And then you still actually hear the turbos now too, which is nice, so. Nice Ford Raptor, all right, I'm gonna floor it. gas so definitely not as loud as the carbon exhaust 2000 rpm probably the loudest that you're gonna hear this exhaust at but not overly drony or annoying at all and you guys know that I would tell you if this stuff was overly annoying or drony like I did with the last exhaust but it seems to be pretty good oh look at the huskies I like that I can still hear the turbos come on and it's not an annoying sound at all, like just simple acceleration if you don't want to hear the exhaust. Very refined. <laughs> I actually really like this exhaust, guys. And again, it's super windy outside, but we're going 70 miles an hour at about 1900 RPMs. Well, raining now, gotta love the sunshine state. So final initial impressions of the AFE exhaust. It's freaking great, guys. So this video was just kind of install, initial impressions. I really like it. My only thing that I don't care about it, and I mentioned it during the install portion, is that it sticks out just a little bit far from the actual fender liner of the truck. But other than that, but other than that, I mean, the sound is great. Startup is great. Idle, I like the idle in cabin noise not much at all so i actually have a thousand mile road trip coming up here in a couple days and gonna take the truck on a thousand mile road trip 70 80 miles an hour actually getting out on the highway some hills and stuff too and i will make a full dedicated video for that kind of like i did the carbon video just to show you guys updates on annoyance of exhaust and everything like that so guys i will catch you in the next video all right see you later